Greetings one and all two universes. In this show we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two characters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right or wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions in a video response or in the comment section down below. So let's meet our two fighters, Bowser, King of the Koopas, and King Dedede, self-proclaimed King of Dreamland. Now, I am aware that both of these guys appear in multiple forms of media, but we'll be sticking with their video game counterparts for this fight. With that settled, let's begin the research. This is Universes. Okay, first things first. This guy right here, this Dragon Turtle hybrid, he should be the literal definition of determination. Like, you just open up a dictionary and it's a picture of him. Meet Bowser, King of the Koopas. His goal is to keep Princess Peach in his clutches while he takes over the Mushroom Kingdom forever, despite the fact that he already has his own kingdom. Although, I suppose I would want to move too if my house is surrounded by lava and fire. While he does often claim victory in capturing the princess, it's keeping her that's the issue. Those pesky plumbers always sneak her away right out from under his nose. However, more failures means more plans, and more plans means a bigger arsenal. So let's take a look at Bowser's. Well, okay, let's actually talk about Bowser himself first. I mean, he's a magical turtle. He has to have something good. Well, for one, he can breathe and survive and fly around in space. He can change size, spit fire, or even control vehicles and machines with lightning. So yeah, we're off to a good start. His dark magic is strong enough to affect all of the Mushroom Kingdom, and he can even pull meteors down from the sky or even conjure up a black hole. He can also poison foes with a gas or by scratching them with his claws. Even when all his skin is melted off, his magic allows him to live in his own skeleton. And he can even pull himself back together if his skeleton falls apart. But his giant form makes his skin tough enough to not get melted off in the first place. Bowser's many plans and adventures with the Mario Bros have granted him a gigantic arsenal too. There's the wish-granting Star Rod and the Dream World-powered Dreamstone that can transform him into Dreamy Bowser. Lots of dreams. And he can also throw hammers or fly this clown copter thing. It can drop gigantic cannonballs the size of itself or even deploy Mecha Koopas to attack all of his foes. And despite his many failures, this doesn't mean Bowser is bad at what he does, it just means the Mario Bros are better at their job. Bowser is smart enough to build all kinds of machines and structures, and his magic can affect lands and planets. He defeated Dark Bowser, an alternate manifestation of himself that was going to destroy multiple worlds, and Dreamy Bowser gains the power of multiple dream worlds. Each dream world is its own universe. And for a turtle, Bowser is also pretty quick. He managed to tag Starship Mario with a meteor, a vehicle so fast that it can travel to different galaxies in mere seconds. And when it's Bowser's turn to take damage, he can definitely handle a lot. He can wish invincibility upon himself with the Star Rod, and even without it, he can tank falling into multiple black holes. One of these black holes was so intense that it resulted in the destruction of the universe. And yes, it was indeed the destruction of the universe, for all you skeptics of a certain episode from my previous series. <coughs> But, we are not going to get into that now. This is Bowser vs. DDD. And speaking of DDD... Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, okay. King Dedede no, is the big no, fat self-proclaimed no, king no, of Dreamland. No, 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 you! Get out of here! Shoo, shoo! Hey, 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 I'm a lovable sidekick, though. A lovable sidekick, huh? Oh, yeah, well, Boomstick called. He wants his everything back. Ouch. Jeez, fine, I'll go. Maybe Hira and I will start our own series to prove we can be lovable characters, and it won't even be about versus debating. Yeah, you go do that. Now stay out of my show. Anyways, King DDD is the big, fat, self-proclaimed King of Dreamland. Although, despite only being self-proclaimed, he has several castles and fortresses all over planet Popstar. 
And despite being one of Kirby's main foes, he can't really be considered evil. Most of his planes just revolve around trying to outdo Kirby. Heck, he even helped out Kirby on some adventures. He used to be the punching bag of the series, but over time, he's really measured up. He's slowly become a fighting machine and is ready to take on Kirby now more than ever. Even though he's a penguin, DDD can actually fly and slam down on the ground so hard it creates mini stars. He can slide across the ground and crush foes with his body weight, or he can even inhale things like Kirby. It took him a few tries to realize that that just wasn't enough to defeat the little pink puffball, so he increased his arsenal. He can toss spiky enemies, throw bubbles with bombs, or even wield a gigantic wooden mallet that he can swing around with ease. He can swing and hit this hammer on the ground so hard that it also creates mini stars, and he can even charge up a powerful blast that launches foes away. It can also shoot lasers, and once combined with his body slam move, it can catch on fire and explode upon impact with the ground. As Mask DDD, he can fire rockets from his hammer, use it as a flamethrower, or even perform a tornado spin move with it. His Masked Revenge form allows him to use an axe that increases the range of his tornado spin, increases the explosion size of his body slam, and can create little energy balls. These weapons and abilities seem to have helped him out quite a bit as he's gained a lot more impressive feats than his early days. He's a bit too lazy to show a lot of power himself, but he's matched up and measured up to a lot of other powerful fighters. Well, for starters, he was able to defeat Dark Meta Knight, and he survived several intense beatings from Kirby, a being so powerful that he's been described on multiple occasions to have infinite power, and has shown the capability to push back a wave capable of obliterating a universe. He is also quick enough to keep up with Kirby, who has traveled across an entire galaxy in no time at all. And he still is able to at least damage Kirby, who, along with himself, survived a planet-sized explosion without a scratch. All these stats should increase even further with this Masked Form and Masked Revenge Form. So let's see if this extreme toughness is enough to scratch the shell of King of the Koopas. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hello. Q. Oh, uh, hello guys, I'm Brandon Gaming VA here, and, uh, Comedy Skits 80 has allowed me to join him in this prediction video on Leopold the Brave's next universes, Bowser vs. King, King Diddy. Diddy. That was a yep. We did that together. Okay. Alright. So off the bat, me and Brandon both think Bowser should win. And I do believe you did this episode, correct? Yes, I did indeed do this episode on my own show, uh, CBC. I made Bowser but win because he was... How, how long was that ago? Actually, let me check. I gotta figure out how long ago it was since I made that video. It was a while ago when I when I still resorted to animating and paint. A... Well, anyway, uh... I still do believe uh, Ganondorf. I mean, so yeah, Ganondorf. Oh my God, Bowser. I'm not Ganon. Yeah, well, I mean, Ganondorf does beat both Bowser and Diddy, but I do believe Bowser is going to win. Yes, and I think it's the uh, mainly uh, uh, one of the things I know. One of the categories I know Bowser takes Diddy in is durability. Uh, yeah, because like he's surviving the black hole and stuff. Like, mm. I think Diddy's only real durability is being scaled to Kirby. Yeah, but, but him taking hits from Kirby is, is insanely power. It's a good feat because Kirby is a really powerful little cream puff. But I think surveying a black hole may just be a little bit more, uh, a little <clears throat> more durable. Also, couldn't Bowser just use his magic and turn King Diddy into a brick? I don't think he would resort to that. But I mean, he could definitely do that. Like, I like he doesn't really show that in the game, so I don't usually like to count it for him. Yeah, it just seems but, like. It seems like something I just felt I felt like mentioning that. And strength wise, um, I'm pretty sure Bowser's also stronger. But uh, I get I uh, gotta. I, f I feel like Bowser's only main like problem in this fight is that He's... DDD might be like DDD's a lot faster than Bowser. Yeah, Bowser's That's the... kind of slow and clunky. Well, uh, DDD is kept up with, like, Warp Star, and even in combat, it's kept up with, like, Meta Knight and Kirby himself. Yeah, I think speed's gonna be something that that Bowser's gonna have to look out for. It's been a while since I've seen your episode. Did you give him, uh, minions? Actually, um, no, I didn't give him minions. Actually, I probably should have seen, watched, re -watched my video before I freaking made this, made this video, because I could have gotten refreshed on why I thought Bowser would win. 
I mean, okay, I actually, because Leopold the Brave, he said in his uh, Cortex versus uh, Cortex versus Eggman video, specifically said that he wasn't going to give him minions or anything. Yeah. But I don't know if he's going to do that again for this. I don't think but... they're going to have minions. So. Even then, um, actually, if they had minions, I'm pretty sure King Dedede's minions are better. But we're not talking about minions. We're talking about Bowser and Dedede themselves. What other, like, weapons did they got? Like, I know, um... Actually, I, I gotta stop you right there. I, I'm gonna retract my statement. I actually think King Dedede is probably stronger than Bowser. Although, uh, not strong enough to take the win, I don't think. Because, well, wouldn't killing Bowser be a little bit impossible for King Dedede? I mean, okay. King Dedede does have a lot of, like, star magic he can use. Like, he can shoot out stars and stuff. But I don't think he doesn't... One, he doesn't resort to that that much, so he wouldn't know that'd be very effective against Bowser and I don't think he's intelligent enough to catch on to that would hurt Bowser. Yeah. And uh pretty sure Bowser has some pretty insane magic too. Like what I'm saying, like, okay. I think Bowser has more versatility in terms of like magical weaponry while DDD has more versatility in terms of mechanical weaponry because his hammer actually has a lot of like different types like fire, electricity, all that stuff. And uh, wouldn't it be extremely difficult for him to, uh, I mentioned this before, but it would be extremely difficult to kill Bowser because, you know, d I'm pretty sure that even when he's reduced to a skeleton, he just can bring himself back to his body like all the other dry bones. That's what's making me lead towards Bowser. <laughs> it's not, yeah, like, I feel like yeah, DDD might have a slight strength advantage, and and but that's not enough to like Speed make this well. unfair because Bowser definitely has uh, strength as well. So we so um, Bowser we he he's got him in durability, I think versatility in magic, right? And intellect. And intellect. surprisingly. Wait, so how do you... All right, I'm not gonna question that. I I like. Okay, King and I never looked into, King, into Bowser's intelligence. They can both rule over a kingdom, but I mean, like, in the RPG games and stuff, he's actually shown to be pretty intelligent. It's okay, kind of yeah. like, it's like Knuckles, where Knuckles is shown to be stupid sometimes, but Bowser's actually shown to be really okay. smart. So, durability, versatility, magic, and intelligence against strength and speed. I think ba since yeah. Bowser's got more advantages, that's why I think he takes this win. I feel like that's a suitable enough argument. Hashtag Team Bowser. I'm out. Say your goodbyes, Brandon. Later. That was a, okay. Yep, that works. And the results are in. The winner is Bowser. Now hold it. I can already hear the few of you who rooted for DDD saying, but infinite power, Kirby! And I'll pull you on that roller coaster at the end. But for now, let's look at how Bowser actually wins. King DDD is quite impressive, sure. He scales to some of the biggest and baddest characters in Kirby, but Bowser is just twice as good in all stats. King DDD scales to Kirby, whose best feat is universal, but Bowser has the power of all the dream worlds, and since each dream world is its own universe, that means Bowser is multi universal. When it comes to speed, King DDD can outpace Dark Meta Knight, who's on equal terms with Kirby and regular Meta Knight. This should give him the speed to cross a galaxy in no time at all, but Bowser is able to keep up with Starship Mario, which can travel across multiple galaxies in no time at all. Not to mention that he's able to move out of the pull of a black hole, and Bowser's gigantic arsenal of magic outmatches DDD by a long shot. He can grow hundreds of times DDD's size for crying out loud, and while his skin can be melted with lava, DDD doesn't have anything that could match that temperature. Okay, okay, now let's talk about Infinity, and how it's not as impressive as you've been led to believe. Anyone who tells you a character wins because of infinite power is completely out of their mind. You see, Infinity isn't a measurement. In fact, it's the very concept of something that can't be measured. Infinity is the word for something without limits, but Infinity itself has a finite barrier around it. For example, the infinitely expanding universe. It's infinitely expanding, but it's still just a universe. What happens if someone can destroy multiple universes, like Bowser? Multiple infinitely expanding universes, multiple infinities. Bowser has pretty much surpassed infinity by destroying multiple infinities. Here's another example. You could have infinite pencils, right? They're infinite, 
but it's still just a set of pencils. What happens if you bring in a set of infinite pens? Is the number of total objects the same as before you added the pens, or have you surpassed infinity by adding another infinity? The top feats in the Kirby series have only reached universe levels, one infinity. Meanwhile, Bowser has surpassed multi-universe levels, or multiple infinities. This isn't just made-up nonsense I'm spewing out either. A channel called Vsauce actually has a very informative video of how you can count past infinity. I recommend checking it out, it's very interesting. Now, this isn't to say Bowser is unstoppable because he surpasses infinity. This is just to show how pointless an infinite power argument can be, as it could still only mean universal. Which, again, we've already seen Bowser surpass. The winner is Bowser. Get ready for the next battle. They're big bulky brawlers. They're artificially made. Fusion is just a cheap tactic to make weak gem stronger. But the most important similarity, they both start with the letter J.